Hello, and welcome to the GBC Productions channel. This is episode 92. In this video, I will be taking apart a photoelectric smoke detector. This one's made by First Alert. This comes with an electrical connector here, with three wires on it, line neutral and interconnect. The interconnect wire is capped off if you are using it as a standalone smoke detector, but if you had multiple ones in the house, you'd cut that cap off and run a wire between all the smoke detectors. That way if one goes off, they all go off. It does have a battery backup which goes in this tray here and there's a lockout to prevent you from putting the tray back in without a battery. Anyway, I'm going to try to get inside this thing and I don't see any screws. One more thing, this is the mounting bracket. It has these pegs here that once you put it on the bracket you'd put the pegs through a couple of holes and it would lock it in place. One of the pegs locks the battery door closed and the other peg would go in right here. I'm going to pause for a minute and take a look at how to get this thing apart. I'll be right back. I got the cover off. There were just four clips that hold it in place. Here's a context for the battery. When you close the battery door, it'll make contact on the board. Let me try to get the board out of here and I can show you a better look. Here's the pins coming through from the bottom for the electrical, and they connect right there. There's the battery connection. This white can is the siren, and the photoelectric portion is under this black bar. This has a screen around it, probably to keep out as much dust as possible. I'm going to pause for a minute to see if I can get this cover off. There's an infrared LED in there that points into this can and it's looking for the smoke. So here's that cover removed. You can see it'll allow air to come in, but not light. And that's going to look for the smoke. This is the infrared LED, and there's the sensor. And they're at an angle in a way that they'll see the smoke, and it'll detect the infrared and set the alarm off. Well, that's not showing up too well. The capacitor here makes me think it's using a capacitive dropper type power supply. There's an adjustment here, not sure what that's for, and then here's the test button. There's a couple indicator LEDs and the chip that drives the whole thing. And it looks like there's some diodes underneath the alarm. The chip here is an RE321-VP. And the information I was able to find on it comes back as it's a dedicated smoke detector chip. And that's basically all that's in here. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.